Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for August 21 through 28, 2015. Strong geomagnetic disturbances have been registered over the last 36 hours. The very potent planetary alignment of Earth, Sun, Jupiter will take place during this watch. And we do have a very strong and very large coronal hole formation in the northern hemisphere of the solar corona, all represent a foreshadowing for a 7.5 magnitude earthquake during this watch. As mentioned in my previous video, I'm expecting a very strong earthquake to be registered during the month of August. This is mainly due to the very powerful planetary alignment of Earth, Sun, Jupiter, which will take place on August 26, but also due to the hypersymmetry and earthquake cycle of Saturn reaching a 13 degree phase. Now we do have a strong symmetry with 2015 and 2010, where an 8.8 .8 earthquake struck in the Bio, Bio region in Chile. We're now looking at this very strong positive polarity coronal hole formation which is in the northern hemisphere of the solar corona. Now we do see that this very large coronal hole formation is indicative of a very strong event, although positive polarity, this coronal hole formation is changing shape quite drastically. There's also a smaller coronal hole formation in the southern hemisphere which may indicate two strong earthquakes during this watch. After close analysis of this very large coronal hole formation situated in the northern hemisphere of the solar corona, I have isolated an area 28 to 36 degrees north latitude as an area or zone that could be the epicenter for this very strong earthquake registered to 7.5 magnitude and the areas of focus will be the western and eastern flanks or periphery of the Pacific Ocean. Now looking at the lunar declination which will take place on the 25th of August and we do see that the overhead or longitudinal position of the moon at the time of the lunar declination reveals that the eastern side of the Pacific Ocean would be most at risk for this potential large event. Two magnetic filaments released from the sun in an earth facing position. The resulting coronal mass ejections impacted earth's magnetic field and we have seen strong geomagnetic disturbances over the last 36 hours. Now the most recent disturbance over the last 24 hours this has come from the high speed solar wind stream coming from this coronal hole formation CH683 which will become geo effective from August 21 through August 23 in terms of earthquake manifestation. We are now looking at the latest solar wind telemetry from ACE where we see currently solar winds are at 521 kilometers per second. Now we should see a steady decline in solar winds over the next 24 to 48 hours and once we see solar winds drop under 330 kilometers per second we should see strong earthquake potentials here on the earth and very shallow events as well. I'm expecting around August 21 through August 24 a strong northern hemisphere earthquake and towards the end of this watch August 26 through August 28 a strong southern hemisphere earthquake. Now going to plot and map this large coronal hole formation to the earth with solar symmetry with key focus on the periphery or the western and eastern edges of the Pacific Ocean. The main areas of concern will be Japan and the west coast of North America. For Japan, the key areas of focus will be the Kyushu Japan region, the Izu Islands, and also the south coast of the Honshu Japan region, and eastern Honshu Japan will be the key areas of focus for this potential very strong earthquake. Now moving our attention to the eastern side of the Pacific Ocean or the west coast of North America. And the main areas of concern will be Baja California, Southern California and stretching up towards Northern California for this potential 6.2 to 6.5 earthquake for the time frame of August 21 through August 24. It is worth noting that the Sakurumajima volcano does fit in this latitude zone and a concern for a major event. Now it has been raised from level 1 to level 4 status over the last week with evacuations in place and there is a worry of a major eruption about to take place. Now the concern is that it does fit in this latitude zone and we did have a 5.1 magnitude earthquake in Kyushu, Japan yesterday only 60 kilometers away from this volcano so that is a major worry and definitely worth keeping a close note of during this watch. And my third and final area of concern for this northern hemisphere watch will be for the China region. Areas of focus will be western Zhejiang or Qinghai for this potential 6.5 earthquake for the time frame of August 21 through August 24. Now focusing our attention to this southern hemisphere coronal hole formation where I feel a strong earthquake could be registered towards the end of this watch August 27 and 28 as this is bookended by the very powerful alignment of Earth, Sun, Jupiter on August 26 and also the lunar perigee on August 30. So I do feel a culmination of energies will take place and a very strong seismic reset should take place here on the Earth and a registered earthquake to 7.5 magnitude could be very possible.
Areas of focus will be Vanuatu as a main area of concern in the South Pacific Islands. And if you're interested in this line of work and research, I do have a website newsletter available all the way up to October. Now it is worth noting that the August newsletter produced a very strong and accurate hit for the Solomon Islands for the August 13 to 15 time frame. For more information, please visit solarwatcher.net. And that concludes this Volcano and Earthquake Watch for August 21 through August 28, 2015. For more information, as mentioned, please visit solarwatcher.net. Annotations and results of this watch will be added at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.